In this video, we're going to talk about how to record a bond issuance when the bonds are issued at par. And what we're talking about here is, is bonds that are issued uh, at their face value. So there's no premium or discount involved. Uh, and so let's just jump right into an example of how, how we go about doing this. So in our example, let's say that we our, our firm issues 10-year uh, bonds. By 10-year bonds, I mean the maturity will be 10 years from now. Issue 10-year bonds with a face value of $500,000. If you're wondering what that means, face value, just saying that the when the bond becomes mature, uh, we're going to have to repay the lender $500,000. And up front, of course, we're, we're getting $500,000. Now, what is the lender uh, getting in return? Well, the lender is getting an interest rate of 8% and that is payable semi-annually semi-annually twice a year okay so now let's go ahead and let's let's make the journals entries here first we have to uh, record the issuance of the bond right so we've got 10-year bonds but the face value of five hundred thousand dollars that's what's important and let's say the date let's say that we uh, that this goes down on January 1st so we receive five hundred thousand dollars that's what we did right we borrowed five hundred thousand dollars so we're gonna debit cash which is an asset and we're gonna credit bonds payable I'll just abbreviate it B slash P this is a part of our long-term debt because it's a non-current liability bond payable. It's an obligation we have to repay that five hundred thousand. So this is our journal entry upon issuance. So now we have to deal with this interest rate, and remember this is semi-annually. So the first time we have to pay interest uh, is going to be on July first. Right? That's halfway through the year, July first. And we'll just we'll just call this here. We'll say interest, interest date. And now we're going to have interest expense. We'll just abbreviate this, interest expense. And how are we going to calculate interest expense? Well, we take the principal, five hundred thousand. We multiply it by eight percent. Right now, that's going to give us forty grand. But remember, it's semi-annual, so forty grand's for the whole year. So we divide by two to get twenty thousand. So our interest expense will be twenty thousand. And then interest payable or cash, assume, we'll just assume we actually just pay out the cash immediately. So that'll be 20000 Now again, let, let me just write this out, make it easy for you to understand. So we got the 500000 This is how we're getting that 20000 20, times 8%. That divided by 2 because it's semi-annual. That's, that's where we get that, that 20000 Now we're going to have a series for, for 10 years. We're going to have journal entries like this right to record the interest so let me just skip ahead uh, to what we have uh, at the end which is retirement so ultimately we're going to retire the bonds right or maturity maybe that's a better way of thinking about it. the bonds are going to mature uh, so on January 1st uh, 10 years from now let me just change colors we retire these bonds or we, we the bonds mature so we're gonna debit bonds payable for five hundred thousand dollars why are we debiting bonds payable remember it's a liability so it's gonna decrease with the debit before we credited bonds payable to indicate that we have this long-term obligation but we no longer do right because we're paying cash we credit the cash five hundred thousand to repay our lender for the money that they lent us so Upon maturity, we have to get the bond off our books, right? We no longer have that bond payable, and, and we just credit the cash. We're reducing an asset as we repay the lender.